story of Chula Pantaka, how a Dalit became a saint. In the city of Rajagaha, there were two brothers, Chula Pantaka and Maha Pantaka. Now Maha Pantaka was the elder brother. He was very bright and became an outstanding monk at the monastery. Chula Pantaka followed his elder brother to become a monk. But he had a problem. He was a Dalit and wasn't able to remember any of the Buddha's teachings, even the short verses. Now during the Buddha's time, teachings were passed from teacher to pupil orally. So the teachings were not written down and had to be memorized. His brother tried teaching Chula Pantaka, but gave up after some time. The harder he tried to teach his younger brother, the less successful he became. Chula Pantaka could not remember anything. Mahapantaka thought that it would be a waste of time for his brother to remain as a monk at the monastery. The problem came to a head over a lunch invitation. Jivaka, the Buddhist doctor, invited the Buddha and the monks for lunch. Mahapantaka was in charge of selecting the monks for lunch, but he only wanted monks with wisdom and spiritual attainment to attend. Chola Pantaka's name was left out of the invitation list. When Chola Pantaka found out that his name was not on the list, he was dismayed. He took that to be a signal for him to disrobe and to return to lay life. Tears were streaming down his face because he didn't really want to disrobe. The next morning, when Chula Pantaka was leaving the monastery to disrobe, he met the Buddha at the door of the monastery. The Buddha asked him, Chula Pantaka, where are you going at this time? Chula Pantaka replied, Master, my brother drives me away, so I'm going to disrobe. And the Buddha asked, Chola Pantaka, you did not ordain as a monk for your brother. You ordained for yourself. When your brother told you to leave, why didn't you come to me? Come, stay with me. The Buddha stroked young Chula Pantaka on his head and led him to sit in front of the Buddha's hut. He then gave Chula Pantaka a clean white cloth and told him to rub it while repeating Rajo Haranam, meaning removing dust. So Chula Pantaka was rubbing the cloth and repeating Rajo Haranam, Rajo Haranam, removing dust, removing dust. He was feeling hopeless and frustrated. But after his frustration subsided, he suddenly realized that the pure white cloth in his hand had become dirty. He reflected, before this cloth was pure and white, now it has become dirty. His good karma has ripened and he thought, this body of mine isn't lasting or permanent. Then he realized that all conditioned things are impermanent. At that time, the Buddha was at Jivaka's house. Through his super normal power, he knew about the progress of this young monk. He projected a vision of himself in front of Chula Pantaka, saying, Chula Pantaka, the piece of cloth is not the only thing made dirty by the dust. Within oneself, are the dust of passion, the dust of ill will, and the dust of ignorance. Only when you remove this dust can you achieve your goal and attain sainthood. Chula Pantaka understood the message and continued meditating. In a short while, he attained sainthood together with extraordinary knowledge and mental powers. He was no longer a Dalit. 
at Jivika's house, the moment came for water to be poured into a bowl before food was served. The Buddha covered the bowl with his hand and asked, Are there any monks left at the monastery? The answer was, there was none. The Buddha said that there was still one monk at the monastery and he had to be invited. When the messenger arrived at the monastery to fetch Chula Pontaka, he saw that there were many monks all looking like him. Now one of the psychic abilities of Chula Pantaka was that he was able to turn himself into many images of himself. So the messenger was confused and he didn't know whom to invite for lunch. He returned to Jivaka's house to report this matter. The Buddha instructed him to return to the monastery and call the name of Chula Pantaka. When the messenger did that, many voices responded, I am Chula Pantaka. Again, he didn't know who was the right Chula Pantaka. He returned to Jivaka's house and asked what to do. He was sent to the monastery for the third time and was instructed to hold on to the first monk who said that he was Chula Pantaka. As soon as he caught hold of that monk, all the other images of Chula Pantaka disappeared. Chula Pantaka accompanied the messenger to Chipaka's house for lunch. After lunch was over, the Buddha directed Chula Pantaka to give a sermon. And you could imagine the jaws of the other monks dropped when they heard a brilliant talk coming from someone regarded as the monk with dull wisdom. From this, we could see that the Buddha was not a distant figure teaching the Dharma from high above. He was a teacher with great compassion for his disciples. He used a personal touch to inspire Chula Pantaka and gave him a physical activity to achieve spiritual breakthrough. He turned Chula Pantaka's frustration into a tool for awakening. <laughs>